Welcome to the Aquaspresso Coffee Academy and today I'm going to be talking about why you should almost never buy a coin operated coffee machine. Okay, so we sell coin operated coffee machines but I personally hate them and I hate them because of three major reasons. So almost any coffee machine or almost any industrial op uh, coffee machine can come or mostly comes in a coin operated version. Why I hate them is number one, price wise for the coin mechanism or the note reader or whatever case, whatever payment system is installed in the machine is usually around about 10 to 15,000 Rand. So that's on top of your coffee machine, of course. So if your coffee machine costs 20,000 Rand, you're paying almost the same amount just for that mechanism. So number one reason, they're super, super expensive. Number two, if you're, which is really the reason people mostly have a coin operated or token system, if you're looking to tender your coffee, to sell your coffee, and you have a little slot where people come in, put some money in, it just looks crappy. You know, you're never going to expect and you are never going to get a good cup of coffee out of a machine where you put your little two rand or five rand coin. So aesthetics, the impression it gives you, the image is just never nice on a coin operated machine. Third reason, and this typically applies primarily to token operated machines, but coin operated machines have a similar problem, is the logistic challenge around it. So when you have a coin operated machine or a token operated machine, they have a, a storage capacity or storage uh, little container inside the machine which needs to be emptied each day. And in the case of tokens, which is much worse, those tokens now then need to be redistributed to every person in the company each day. And that is a nightmare. And what happens, companies do that for about a week or two weeks and they just give up because you know, they save a little bit of money by controlling it through tokens, but it's just so painful to do that. So those are the three reasons I hate token or coin operated machines. So what is the alternative or when can you avoid it? There are some cases where you can't avoid it and that's when you're going to put your machine in an area where there's absolutely no humans around, no one can, can take money from customers, no one can sell coffee um, and in that case you unfortunately have no choice but to go that route. But when you have someone in the vicinity, the right way to do it is actually to sell the cup so the machine, they call a free vendor machine. People can go and use the machine, no problem, free, no, pu no pu uh, putting in money, just pressing a button. And what the, the right way to do is, what, often what petrol stations do, is they keep the cups behind the counter, and people then buy the cups. They buy an empty cup. So, for example, they buy a cup of coffee, or just a cup, for f a real cup of coffee, for 15 Rand, and people can then take the cup and use it themselves, and go use the machine. And all machines these days have stock controllers, they have stock counters, so you can, it's very easy to, to marry the money, the, the amount, the, the money that's, that's received to what's actually been made from the machine. So controls are still there, and that is really the right way to do it in almost all circumstances. Hope that helps. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it useful and helpful and you want to learn more, please subscribe now.